it's Jessica Goose here with Real Agriculture, and I am at Egg in Motion. Joining me right now is Mark Ferguson, who is the manager with Sask Pork. Mark, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. That's awesome. We are showcasing what your crops can look like if you add some manure. So let's talk about that. You have barley, wheat, and canola all behind you, all set at various rates. Uh, why is Sask Pork uh, kind of giving this information to producers? Well, this is our first year out at the show and we're, we're really uh, glad to be out here this year. And, and really what we're trying to do is to demonstrate to producers the value that, that hog manure can bring to their operations. And, and, and so what we've done here, we've got manure applied at several different rates and we've got three different crops. We've got canola, we've got wheat, we've got uh, barley. And basically it's to show uh, what the appearance of the crop look like, looks like with manure as compared to no manure, what it looks like with, uh, with several different rates. And, uh, and eventually you can tell which ones are gonna have the higher yield, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Exactly, and higher yield is something that farmers want. Absolutely. So what, uh, at what rates have you guys applied at? Uh, maybe let's start with barley here and sure. what are you kind of seeing as far well, as yield? This is our barley and we did uh, 8,000 gallons an acre on this particular plot and, uh, and that had about, uh, uh, 330 pounds of nitrogen in it, and uh, and on our second one here we've got uh, uh, we've got 4,000 gallons put down, and which which had about uh, 165 pounds of nitrogen. So, so as you can see, uh, you know we've got a great looking crop here, the one that had manure, and uh, and and same when you look down at the wheat and, mm -hmm. and the canola, they they're doing a lot better when they've got that that high level of nutrients on mm -hmm. them for sure. Now the 4,000 to me is what kind of stands out the most. However, you've said, you know, it might be a little bit more cost effective to go at a little higher rate. Explain to me kind of the effectiveness around that. Well, the thing about manure is you kind of have to be close to a barn. You have to be close to the source to really take advantage of it uh, because of course it's expensive to haul. It's kind of a bulky product, especially uh, liquid swine manure because it's, uh, there's a lot of uh, water content in it as well. So, uh, so what, what a lot of producers tend to do is put on a higher rate, something like 8,000 gallons an acre, just to reduce the application costs. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then they have uh, more carryover nutrients for the following year. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now another thing, obviously with you guys being here the first time uh, at Egg in Motion, is you're also encouraging people to, hey, maybe look into uh, becoming a hog producer. What, well, are, what would you say are some kind of characteristics in order to do that? Yeah, well that's the thing about Saskatchewan. We don't have that many hog barns here. We produce about 2 million pigs in the province. Uh, you know, other provinces have, have quite a few more. So we've got a great opportunity here. We've got the land base, we've got lots of feed grains here that we can use and we've got lots of land to put to put the manure on and to grow great crops too. So so that's that's the thing. If you don't have a hog barn near you and you'd like to, to harness the power of manure, definitely get it into a hog barn it would be a, a great idea and uh, and we can help you out with that for sure. For sure. Yeah and uh, more information can be found at saskpork.com. Mark thank you so much for your time today. Well thanks for having me.